everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Before we begin, I just want to shout out my patrons on Patreon and let you know that within the next week or so, I am going to be releasing the video that all patrons who contribute at just $5 a month or more have access to on a monthly basis. And this month, I'm gonna be teaching you all about spirit guides, the various kinds of emissaries or guides that we have one of which, or maybe a couple of which, will be a surprise to you. You will not have even known you had access to this incredible resource. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about the roles that they, that they play in our lives, and also how to call new guides into our life. So it's gonna be a really cool teaching, lots of great information. I'll be releasing that within the next week or week and a half. And also for patrons who contribute at $20 a month or more, we are gonna start having a weekly Zoom where we all gather together and just have fun. I'm gonna start with a little bit of teaching. We can co-create that, I'm perf that's perfect. Whatever you guys wanna learn, and if I can teach it, I will. I'll also answer your spiritual and metaphysical questions, and then we're gonna segue into intuitive readings. Now, I very rarely give intuitive readings. If you were to go to my website, you would see that there, I think there's a tab that says sessions, but if you click on it, usually there's no calendar there. Sometimes there's a calendar there. Mostly there's no calendar, but if there is, there's only like three available. Like I don't do a lot of readings anymore, but I do love to give them. It's one way that I really can serve a client or serve a community through just channeling messages from spirit. So, for my patrons who are gonna be meeting me in this live meeting, and again, those are patrons who are contributing at $20 a month or more, we're gonna be doing intuitive readings. Even if it's just me and one other person, that's fine. You can ask me all the questions that you want. Whatever I get from Spirit is what I will give you. So go to Patreon. Um, if you're already contributing, the information is already there, so you can put it in your calendar and you can also look for that video which will be released next week. But let me just end by saying thank you so much. My heart to yours. You guys are the reason I get to do what I do and provide the content that I do at the level I do. That's a lot of I do's. Anyway, now let's get into this video. I wanted to talk a little bit about... <sighs> I wanted to talk about something macro, which is cosmological architecture. But I want to start by talking about something really micro, which is pain and pain around being alive. Recently, depending on when you're watching this, we had a couple of people, celebrities who committed suicide, the first being Kate Spade and the second being Anthony Bourdain. Now, I didn't really follow Kate Spade. I knew, you know, she was a designer, accessories, bags and things like that lovely things, um, but I didn't know much about her. I did follow Bourdain. I loved his programs. I really loved his writing. I thought he was just really cool. And I was shocked. I was shocked, shocked, shocked when he, when it was reported that he had passed. And of course, it always returns you to this thinking about life and about this place in which we're all living. We're all sharing this experience, definitely from different vantage points, but we're all here right now, aren't we? on this planet and it feels really chaotic here. It feels sometimes really painful here and it feels scary. It's easy to be afraid to be alive because sometimes we don't know what's coming next. Some of us don't know when we're gonna have our next meal. Some of us don't know when we're gonna get a job and be able to provide for ourselves and our families. Some of us don't know if we're going to be alone forever or we're gonna meet people, but life is hard. And so there can be fear around being alive and not knowing how to navigate what appears to be a very chaotic and damaging and destructive space. But here's what I want you to know. As souls who we're seeking to have an experience, we chose to come to this dimension, this earth plane, this place in specific, because it was an accelerating learning opportunity. It's a school for growth, but it's rapid, amplified, accelerated growth. In just one life, you learn in terms of energetic lessons so very much, and the soul is able to experience and thusly to evolve. And so that's why so many of us choose to come back to earth, even though it's crazy, even though there are wars, even though there is so much pain, 
we come here because we learn and when we're in the incarnation deep in the trenches of this incarnation it's really hard to be appreciative for the soul's desire that we learn in a place like this and we can get despondent and we can go on treks into the wilderness and we can get lost for long periods of time and we can get lost in circumstances we can get lost in our own depression we can get lost in our own thoughts and we can get fatigued by being alive and that's the reality of it and let's just acknowledge that as spiritual people we're incredibly sensitive aren't we we feel things at a heightened level and we're feeling this being here and sometimes it's really painful and it hurts I'm not the first person who's going to admit to, yeah, I'm wondering what it's going to be like when I get to check out of this Mad Max prison planet situation and get to go to 5D into Christ consciousness and float around on a cloud with a harp. Of course I've thought about that. I'm human living here with you. But, but I always realign back or I attempt to realign back to the reason I came here in the first place. What is that reason? The reason is that my soul, the I am of who it is that I am, sought to express itself and experience itself in this reality. That's why I am here. And it's like I'm a person walking around lost in a maze and I don't know how to get out. I keep making this turn, I keep making that turn, but I never find the way out. That's Crystal Ann Compton in the incarnation, in the life, in the pain of it all. But if we were to pop up out of the incarnation, 1,000 proverbial feet above the dimension, where we, we could have a bird's eye view of everything that was happening, and we could see ourselves lost and walking around in this maze, we would have a different perspective, obviously. We would be able to see how to get out of the maze, we would be able to see where we should go next, what step to make next, what turn to make next. See, the higher self has the benefit of that vantage point, that 1,000 foot bird's eye view of the entire incarnation. The higher self knows how to lead you out of that maze and how to lead you out of that pain and how to lead you according to the path that you built into this incarnation for yourself. The problem is, this dimension is very sticky. It's hard sometimes to remember that we have to be aligning back to the divine nature of who it is that we are. We get caught up in these loops of reaction being alive. The work here is to pull ourselves out of the tailspin that we find ourselves in this world, in this life, and align back to the source of all things the joy of all things, the love of all things, the power of all things, our divine nature, our I am nature, that being that has the 1,000 foot bird's eye vantage point of our, of our whole life and can direct us in the way that we should go. You see, the I am, the oversoul, the higher self created the maze. The higher self created the land upon which the maze sits. The higher self created the country within which is the land, upon which is the maze. The higher self created the planet. The higher self created the dimension that we exist in. Check it out. The higher self created all dimensions in which we exist. The higher self created this universe. The higher self created all universes, that which we would call the multiverse. Jesus Christ said, in my Father's house are many mansions. Many mansions, meaning many spaces to dwell, many realities, many universes, many dimensions. And I go there to prepare a place for you. There's even more, Christ is saying. I go there to prepare a new place for you. Well, when the Father's house was being created, you had a hand in that. I share this message with you so that you understand what you have at your disposal so that you are reminded that this life is not all there is and that the pain and the hardship and the challenge of this life is something that you signed up for to experience but also when you came here to experience it you brought a toolbox or a backpack with you within which is everything you need to successfully navigate this life to win at life to succeed and be joyful in this life you have it in you now you possess it right 
now and let that be a blessing for you. You don't just have it here in the maze, my friend. You created the maze. You created the infrastructure. You did that in co-creative partnership with the source of all things and the archangelic. Together you created this and God said, let us make man in our image. Who's our? It's you. God, you, and the archangels. And the gods made man in their image and also the landscape in which man was to dwell. That means you control it. You have the secret to it and the secret exists within you. Mahalo Kea I receive that. Do you receive that?